that devoted its most watched hours this week not to Haiti but to the momentous news of it having hired a new commentator that it intends to force to become president of the United States. It's tonight's worst persons in the world. The bronze to Sean Hannity of Fox News. All eyes, he actually said on Wednesday out loud, are on the Senate race in Massachusetts. He said this and seemed to believe it. While hundreds, maybe thousands, still lived trapped in the rubble in Haiti, among them people who are from what Sean Hannity modestly likes to call Hannity's America. The runner-up is Glenn Beck of Fox News. His inability to grasp the world around him has never been more clear than this past week, talking not about Haiti, that would require not wasting an hour for an exclusive interview with a woman they're now paying to be on their channel anyway, but about Barack Obama. I also believe this is dividing the nation to where the nation sees him react so rapidly on Haiti, and yet he couldn't react rapidly on Afghanistan. He couldn't react rapidly on Fort Hood. He couldn't react rapidly on our own airplane with an underwear bomber. Imagine, this man continued, if George Bush would have waited several hours before he came out with a press conference on this, and then he would have been at a place and he would have said, hey, by the way, I want to thank everybody, and hey, shout out to you, and shout out to you, and it's great. Mr. Beck, were you conscious the day, six days after Katrina hit New Orleans, when President Bush came out with a press conference and shouted out to heck of a job, Brownie? No wonder Mr. Beck is limited to exclusive interviews with Sarah Palin and breathless confessions that he'd written a dear diary note to himself about how nervous he was about meeting her. His brain is not worth the paper it is made out of. But our winner for sanctimonious drivel and out morons, even those of his colleagues, Bill O'Reilly of Fox News complaining about the money. President Obama, he said, should not just promise $100 million with no accountability. Every dollar needs to be managed, and if that means the USA calls the shots, Talking Points says good. Talking Points is believed to be his invisible friend. And I believe the Haitian people would say good as well. We handed umpteen billion taxpayer dollars to the Blackwaters and Halliburtons in Iraq. No accounting, no accountability, and no complaints from Bill O'Reilly. In Haiti, he continued, billions of dollars have gone right down the drain. In slums like City Soleil, neighborhoods are run by drug dealers, voodoo priests, or common extortionists. State relief workers give food and clothing directly to Haitians in need. Odds are, as soon as the relief person leaves, a thug will steal the charity from the poor person. Block by block in Haiti, gangsters rule. How inconvenient for Mr. O'Reilly that so many of those neighborhoods have now been destroyed and so many of those voodoo priests have been crushed to death for the people who know what they're talking about told to, to hold him to his face that he was wrong like Sophie Delaunay the executive director of Doctors Without Borders O'Reilly did they try to extort money I've been to Haiti and those people are rough people they'll chase you down if they can Dr. Delaunay no we didn't experience this kind of problem later in the same interview O'Reilly but you haven't been shaken down by the gangsters Dr. Delaunay no. O'Reilly, they haven't come in and stolen your supplies or anything like that? Dr. Delaunay, no, we haven't. It is tempting to say that this week, in ignoring Haiti in its busiest hours, except to provide excuses to harangue a president of the United States or to politicize mangled corpses, Fox News jumped a shark of some kind. It did not. It is serving its audience and the dream world in which it and they live, just the way its audience is served by, another's audience is served by, Cartoon Network.